let's see what happens when our two bumper cars collide. As you can see, both bumper cars have the same mass. They also have the same speed, though they do have opposite directions. We're calling leftward the negative direction and rightward the positive direction. The collision is elastic. The slider says bouncy here. We can also make the collision inelastic. The slider allows the bumpers to lock together. Notice that they both just stop in that case. What's going on here? Let's make an elastic collision with an equal masses and speeds so that they won't just stop. Let's check out the graph at top left. The momentum of each of the two carts is shown. Rightward momenta are represented by a column graph with a positive value. Leftward momenta are represented by a column graph with a negative value. The total momentum of the situation is the sum of these. This is represented by the green column. Can you see that the green column equals the blue column minus the red column? This is again because the red column is negative. After the collision, the blue and red momenta change, but their sum, the second green column, stays the same. This is what we mean by the phrase conservation of momentum. The total momentum is the same before and after the collision, even if the momentum of each of the cars changes. Momentum is transferred from one car to the other, but none was created or destroyed. What's going on in the graph at top right? In an elastic collision like this one, the total kinetic energy of the system is also conserved. Kinetic energy is transferred from one object to the other, but none was created or lost. Can you see that one car gained kinetic energy and the other lost it? Energy was transferred from one of the cars to the other in the collision. What happens in an inelastic collision when the cars lock together? Well, momentum is still conserved, but some kinetic energy is lost. This is typical of inelastic collisions. The kinetic energy has been transformed to a different form of energy. It is never entirely lost. Energy is converted to many different forms, sound, heat, and the breaking of chemical bonds in the bumpers themselves, causing scratches and dents. Try out different settings and see if you can uncover patterns in the behavior of the carts that result in their collisions.